Hello, welcome back to a new vlog. It's Monday morning, it's Easter Monday, is that a thing? It's the Monday of the Easter long weekend. Will and I got back from his mom's place last night and the new week begins. We're about to go to the gym. Last week, I meant to show you guys, I got some new gym clothes and I totally forgot to put it in my vlog last week. I haven't been to the gym in over two weeks because I've been sick, so I'm just gonna go and like take it easy today. But I wanted to show you some new stuff I got. So let me put it on. Okay. <clears throat> this is like the highest shelf that I have to put you on. So Will wanted to get me... Well, actually, I asked for my birthday this year for new gym clothes. And Will wanted to buy them in person rather than online. So we had to wait for the malls to open back up again. Because um, everything was locked down during my birthday. So literally, this is like my birthday gift from Will. Let's try this level actually. So we went and tried on a bunch of stuff at Sport Check and I didn't like anything, but the stuff that I liked the best at Sport Check was from Nike. So then we ended up going to the Nike store and I tried on a bunch of stuff at Nike and I got a few things. It's all black, which is like kind of boring, but also I just feel really good working out in black. Like it just makes me feel very, I don't know, like serious and like focused. Anyways, <laughs> so hopefully it's not too dark and you guys can see. I got this little like bra slash top. I don't really work out in like just a sports bra and pants. I prefer to wear like a top. So I felt like this was a good kind of like in between. It's like a bra and a top in one. I don't know. I think it looks really cute. So this is called the Nike swoosh bra. Looks like that. And then I got two different pairs of leggings. So these ones that I have on are the uh, Nike One Lux tight fit mid-rise full length. I'll link everything down below. Um, but these felt kind of similar to Lululemon Aligns to me, but like more of an athletic material. So the Lulu Aligns are like some of my favorite athletic wear <laughs> type pants like I'm obsessed with them they're amazing they're super thin they feel like you're not wearing anything but they're also very soft and they don't have a ton of compression like they're not very like tight they don't really hold you in so I feel like these ones have a little bit more elasticity in them but they're still really thin and like very soft I really like them this is what they look like I'm sorry for this uh, angle that is happening here but <laughs> This is the best that we can do. And then, I feel like a lot of my gym pants fall down when I'm running. So I wanted a pair of pants that was gonna be like, just like made for running. So these are from the Nike uh, Run line. Uh, they're the Nike Power. It says Nike Power fabrics provide a range of stretch and support to help you power through your workout, whatever your split demands. So these ones are just a little bit more so these ones are just a little bit more like heavy duty. They're a thicker This is not going very well <laughs> They're a little bit thicker and they have these cool They have like these like breathability holes in the legs so they let some air in and then they're really versatile in terms of pockets so there's pockets on both sides and then there's one of these little pockets on the back here and then I really loved that these had a drawstring in them because then I can pull them tight around my waist when I'm running and not have to worry about them falling down so these ones are more like I don't know functional but they still look really cute on like I really like this little cutout detail on the leg here little swoosh on this leg so yeah we're gonna go for a workout I'm gonna do legs today <laughs> Just put a little bit of lunch together. So I just made a little Mexican bowl out of leftovers in my fridge. Uh, hopefully you can see. I have some corn, which was frozen and now I'm realizing needs to go in for longer. Some refried beans. 
I had made a big pot of rice that I seasoned with the mole that we brought back from Mexico. So I have some of that in here, some black beans, and then I'm just gonna eat, eat it with like bites of greens, and that's gonna be my lunch. This afternoon, we're gonna go look for some bedside table lamps. I have been eyeing these ones on Beauclair for so long since we first moved in. I wanna know what they look like in person. I wanna see how big they are. It's hard to tell like size of things on the internet. So we're gonna go and look at them. I really want bedside table lamps because I wanna be able to read before bed. And I like to read and then get like super tired and just turn off my light and go to sleep. I haven't been reading before bed because I don't wanna like get sleepy and be like reading in bed and then have to get up and turn off the light. So we really need bedside table lamps so that I can have a better nighttime routine. Right now I'm like addicted to falling asleep with like TV going. So literally we're like falling asleep to like the sounds of whatever show we're watching. So I would rather not be doing that. So we're gonna do that this afternoon. And then this evening is a playoff game for the Raptors. Will was gonna have a bros night, but I'm forcing him to bring me along because I wanna go and watch the game at the bar. So yeah, that should be fun too. It became a blizzard outside. Look at this. Spring who? This is just spring in Canada though. It's always disappointing. Spring is the worst season. It's so dark. It looks like it's nighttime. So we did really well at Thanks some home decor today. There actually ended up being a home sense right next to the Buclair that we went to. And when we were looking at the lamp that I had gone in to look at at Buclair, we decided that we didn't really like it. Will thought it was gonna be too big for our bedside table and I thought it felt kind of like cheap and light. So we decided to go and look at Home Sense and they had two of these lights, which was like just, I don't know, it felt meant to be. So they're like little LEDs. And they have a cute little like switch to turn it on and off on the bottom here. It has this gold, which is kind of not a color that we really have in our house, but it doesn't mean we can't, <laughs> I feel like. So yeah, we got these for our bedside table, which I really like them. They're so cute. It's also adjustable here, which is very nice. So I think they're going to be perfect. I'll show you what they look like in the bedroom once we put them in there. But then we also got some other stuff too. So a couple of my plants are in too small of plant pots. And so I'm always needing to get bigger plant pots, but I never do. So I saw this one at Beauclair. I'm sorry the lighting is so terrible. It's literally so dark outside. So it's cute. It's like black and white, pretty good size. So I'm gonna repot one of my plants in here. And then at Home Sense, we got a little soap dish. We also always buy salt and pepper, like in salt and pepper shakers. And I know that that is like the most expensive way of shopping for salt and pepper. So we finally bought some like refillable salt and pepper shakers. And then I bought some pink salt to go in it. And I guess that's everything. I felt like we got more stuff, but maybe we didn't. Oh yeah, we saw in Beauclair too, we found a uh, floor lamp. So for this corner over here, we've been wanting a lamp for this space to yeah light the living room because it's either this overhead light or nothing. So we found a good one at Beauclair, but they were sold out. So we're gonna order it, which actually I should do. And uh, I'll show you guys that when it comes in, of course. But let me maybe set up these table lamps and we'll see how they look. Dirty shoes, me and you, picking up rocks laughing, stealing your sunglasses, sunny skies in our eyes, still with this rose leading, taking it so easy. So 
here they are. I actually think it looks great. Will doesn't like it as much, um, but I really love the way that they look actually. So there's mine and there's Will's. These are the plants that need repotting. I wanna put our money tree in a bigger pot. It's literally been in here since I first got it like 10 years ago. Um, he just needs some fresh soil and a bigger, a bigger pot so that he can grow. And then this guy too, like he's, his roots are all coming up <clears throat> from the top here. He just needs a new pot. So those are the two that will redo, but that will come, come soon. I'm really happy with them actually. And I think the light itself is really nice too. Like it's not too warm. It's not too cool, but it's definitely like, you know, nice nighttime reading lamp temperature. Okay, so we're just going to hang out for a little bit and then head to the bar. We've had a couple of people bail because of the freaking snowstorm outside, but we're gonna persevere because like, we live in Canada and weather just is, is a part of our life, so. So now you're here again knocking at my door. Good morning, you guys. I just got up, and Will and I are gonna head to a coffee shop to do some computer work this morning. See, I finally opened up my eyes. Okay, friends, I am back from the coffee shop. I forgot to bring my camera, so I'm sorry I didn't really show you much, but. It is 12.15. I'm about to leave for a hair appointment. I'm just getting my hair cut today. I haven't had it cut since, I think, October. And it's just starting to get very, like, scraggly and dry on the ends. And when that happens, it gets really knotted very easily. And then I'm just constantly, like, tearing, tearing through the knots. Uh, making the scraggliness worse so it's definitely time for a haircut if you guys are on the channel a lot you'll know I have a friend who does my hair color like every time she's amazing at doing my hair color and sometimes she cuts my hair too I often will actually go to another hairdresser for my hair cuts because this other girl who I see is just amazing at cutting hair and I just find that the combination of like her doing my haircuts and then my other friend doing my hair colors is just like the best best my hair ever looks. And so with the wedding coming up, I want to have her cut it now and then I'll go back and see her again kind of the month of the wedding. I don't usually brush my hair unless I'm going to style it so I would brush it out before I straighten it or curl it. Otherwise, I just leave my hair naturally wavy, but before I go to see the hairdresser, I like to just give it a brush through so that they're not having to stand there and detangle my hair for 15 minutes because nobody wants to do that. Okay, so here's the before on my hair. It's gotten so long, which I love. I don't really want to take off any length per se, just want to cut off all the dead ends and then have her kind of shape it a little bit nicer for me or just shape it the way not nicer but like I just love the way that she does haircuts she puts like beautiful shape into my hair so I just want her to do her thing and uh, yeah I'll show you the after I see McKenna at Baz and Banks for my haircuts <laughs> Okay, here's an after on the hair so we can see it looks so much healthier. She took off a lot, but it needed it. That's what happens when you don't go get your hair done for six months. <laughs> yeah, it feels so much lighter. It feels like I have so much less hair. She just gave my bangs like, she kind of tried to cut them into the layers a bit more and gave it a little curl. So that's the haircut. So I'm just in the middle of doing a little bit of cleaning. I feel like before we went away to Mexico, I was in such a good routine with keeping the apartment clean. And since we've been home 
and I've just been sick for like the majority of the time we've been home. I feel like I really like fell out of a routine and things were just starting to like fall apart a little bit in here. So I'm trying to get back into a good habit of just keeping it like neat and tidy in here. But I was just uh, trying to clean the kitchen a little bit. And I've had all of these boxes just sitting here waiting to unbox. So I thought we would go through them together. So this one I've actually already opened. I did an order from Charlotte Tilbury uh, last week because I ran out of magic cream. So I was out of magic cream. I ordered a new one for myself. And then I was also starting to run low on the cream in my kit. So I grabbed a restock of the cream for my kit as well. So I have two magic creams. I just buy the refills now. She has their reusable packaging. So they just come like this. And then you just pop them into your jar and continue on with your day, which is great. So I have two of those, and then I also ran out of my Rose Gold Eyes to Mesmerize, the cream shadow. I used this pretty much every single day last spring and summer, and uh, I had like a teeny bit left, but I didn't use it all winter, and it dried out. So I bought myself a fresh one of those for this season. So excited to have that. And that's everything I got from Charlotte Tilbury. I also did an Amazon order, so I'll just show you really quickly what's in here. Literally just <laughs> face masks. So I am going to continue wearing a face mask majority of the time when I'm out in public spaces, but for sure when I'm working. I don't have the luxury of having the type of job where I can call in sick. Like, if I'm calling in sick for work, that means likely I'm canceling on someone's wedding, which is just like so stressful for me, for the bridal company that I work with, for the brides. Like, I, I do not need that stress in my life. So I'm gonna do the best that I can to not get sick over the next couple of months. Um, so I bought some more face masks because I was running low. I like the black reusable ones. I think they just look a little bit more professional when I'm working and lots of times photographers are taking pictures of the bride getting her makeup done and I feel like just having like a nice clean black mask on myself in those photos is what looks the best. And then last but not least, this is very exciting, you guys. I had a company reach out to me a couple of weeks ago and ask me if I wanted to try out some skincare from them. So it's a Korean skincare website called Style Vanna. I love Korean skincare. You guys know I rave about my more Pacific enzyme powder and basically like any products from more pacific i also really love the laneige sleeping mask some products from sulwasu um those are like the majority of the korean skincare brands that i've tried i think nothing else is really coming to mind but i love korean skincare they really know what they're doing over there and they're very advanced so compared to like western skincare they have all of the new technology and they just really know what they're doing so of course i said yes i'm really excited to try out some new brands so they sent me a little lineup here that I'm gonna show you if I can get this freaking box open. Okay, so first up we have an Innisfree green tea foaming cleanser. It says double squeezed green tea from the Jeju Island. Excited to test this guy out. I really like cream cleansers. I don't always love like a foaming cleanser. Sometimes I feel like they can strip my skin a lot. So I'll give this one a go and see how I like it. We also have a Haru Haru Wonder Black Rice Hyaluronic Cream Ultra Deep Technology, fermented black rice and bamboo shoot bark extracts. Haru Haru Wonder Black Rice Hyaluronic Cream is a pure blend of naturally fermented black rice and bamboo shoot bark extracts. It provides a boost of antioxidant rich nourishment to your daily face for amplified protection. Love the packaging. How beautiful is this box? Ah, oh, it's so cute. This is what the little cream looks like. I love it, it's so cute. Okay, so we also have a sunscreen, which is so exciting. This is the Make P Rem Soothing Physical Sunscreen formulated with zinc. It's SPF 50 plus, 
and it says it's vegan on the top here. So that's what that guy looks like. I actually almost used up all of my Shiseido sunscreen that I've been using when I was in Mexico. So this is perfect timing. I'll be able to use this all summer. Sunscreens can cause me to break out. So we'll give this one a go and I'll keep you guys updated to see how it does on my skin. And then I also have a, um, I think this says Ish Tree Spot Saver Mugwort Ampoule Time Drop. Soothing ampoule with mugwort extract by drop method protect, protects sensitive skin. 85% Ingen mugwort extract procured using the time drop method relieves irritated skin quickly and makes your skin clear and faultless So they asked me what type of skin I had and I told them that often I have acne prone skin It's been really good since I took those antibiotics uh, back in the winter months, but I do typically have acne prone skin So sounds like this will be great to use when my skin is kind of freaking out a little bit looks like this really nice glass bottle with a nice dropper inside yay oh my gosh so i have a whole little skincare routine here to try out thank you so much to style vanna for sending this stuff over if you guys want to shop their website they have so many different brands some of those favorite ones that i mentioned before all of these brands that are that i mentioned here and just like so many more you can check out their website i'll leave a link in the description box down below and if you use my discount code you will get a discount on your purchase so happy shopping enjoy all of the amazing skincare if you guys buy anything let me know that is everything i have to show you at the moment i'm going to finish cleaning i just did the living room it's nice and clean in here now i'm gonna do the kitchen and then we'll probably leave the rest for another day <laughs> really late today because it's so dark out oh my god i ended up getting some bad news on tuesday about a family member of mine and vlogging felt pretty like insignificant after that i also tend to kind of go inwards when i'm feeling emotional or upset and so yesterday I went to the gym. It was like the only thing that I really, really wanted to do yesterday. I had a really good workout. I literally like had my head up and just like really, I don't know. I really pushed myself and got super into my workout. Yeah, that felt like the right thing to do. I ended up coming home and doing a deep clean of a few different rooms in the apartment because that also felt like something productive that would kind of keep my mind occupied. And uh, then last night, we had previously made plans to have some friends over to watch the basketball game. So we had a couple people over to watch basketball and we just kind of chilled. I was supposed to film a couple of beauty videos yesterday, which obviously didn't end up happening. My videos have been sparse the last few weeks, which I am sorry about, but I also don't really feel bad because it's just all been due to circumstances of things going on in my life. I'm working so much in the next four days. I have five jobs in four days. This weekend kind of kicks off the wedding season for me. So yeah, I'm looking forward to just kind of like buckling down and getting to work. However, I do think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this vlog. I don't really feel like vlogging um, for the rest of the week and I hope that makes sense. We will 
get this channel back on track. You guys know me, like my schedule is very important to me and being consistent with my uploads means a lot to me. So we'll get back there, but it's just been a tough few weeks for me. But thank you guys so much for being here. I do honestly appreciate you all so much. Thank you so much for your likes and your comments and your views. I will see you hopefully soon with a new video. Bye guys.